welcome back to my channel. We've got a really fun video today. We are testing out and reviewing the new XX Revolution brand. If you can hear any ruffling and shuffling, my dog is right here. She's on my makeup table. She's playing with the makeup brushes. She loves it. She's going to be orange in a minute. Love that. <laughs> But yeah, in today's video, we're testing out the new XX Revolution brand. I believe they're saying this is a combo of skincare and makeup combined. I don't know, something like that. So I'm testing it out for the first time today here on my channel. Sorry, nervous of here up there. So we're testing it out on this channel today. It will be very in depth. Ooh, Maisie! We just had a little incident over there. Maisie went crazy and took the camera for a walk with you, didn't you, babe? I took the camera for a walk, yeah? Oh, big you my sweetheart. So, yeah, this will be a little bit in-depth. I will kind of, like, briefly just fly over the makeup side of things. I will give you guys a close-up of the packaging and the actual product itself. And then, at the end, we'll talk a little bit about the products. Did I like them? Did I love them? Did I hate them? Hmm. I have to wait and see. <laughs> Let's crack right on. My hair is like way back, snatched up, just because I really want you to see like what I'm doing and when I get in there with the face, with this being like a try in the new XX revolution. I just want you to see everything for the first time with me and how it applies so that will be easier when my hair is up the way it is. The reason I've already set my lids by the way, I know some people are going to be like that's not a fair test and you should have used the concealer or the eye primer on the lids and you should have done it all that way. But the reason I've used my normal one, I use the eye eraser by Maybelline and then I set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. The reason for that is this is what I use on a daily basis. I always use those products to set my eyes and I feel honestly that it's more fair doing it this way because I'm going to have an idea of how the eyeshadow performs. I'm going to know myself if I like them or not because I know that this base works for me. So the quad that I'm using today, it is the X Extrovert. I believe that they've put XX in front of like all of the words that they've used for the quads, which is cool. So you have seen the close up. It's beautiful it's my type of palette to a T so we are going to take these colors and have a play and see where we end up My eyes look crazy right now, but oh my god, so impressed with my shadows so far. I'll give my full opinions at the end of the video, by the way. But this is the Flix eyeliner, and I will just show you some clips of this now. Now, as you can see from the clips you've just seen, the tip of this is white. So I'm under the impression you press it once from the bottom. It's like a push there and apparently this turns black it's just to keep it fresher for longer is what I believe I'll hold it here and we can see how long it takes shall I hold it downwards 
That nib definitely went in. Just gonna shake it a little bit. This is taking its time. I'm gonna put my show on in the background, watch something, and then whenever this changes colour, I'll be back. No joke, it's been I've even got my cell tape on ready. It's been about five minutes. It's still white. I actually don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Oh! Oh! Okay, it's happening. Do you just want to watch? It's turning black. This is crazy. So it's just now I put cellar tape on my eyes to do my wing because I am crap. I just see me in. This eyeliner does things I've not seen an eyeliner do. This is so pigmented. It's that pigmented it's transferred onto the sellotape, which never happens. So I actually can't see what the line looks like. So I'm quite nervous. So I'm going to peel this off. As you know, I like to smoke my liner out. So we'll take it off and see what it's like before we smoke it. I am dying at how bad this eyeliner is. Not to do with the products, by the way. Just me putting it on. The product, like, outperforms. I just don't like a line like this. I like it smoked out. We're now going to take the foundation. Mine is in the shade FX 0.7. I think this is going to be way too light. Purely because I've got tan on at the moon. But, you know, we, just, we can bronze up. It's fine. It's all good. It's pump applicator. It's quite, um, it's not got much movement to it. <laughs> I'm going to apply this in the normal way that I do. Definitely too light for my false tan, but it is what it is. Also, by the way, the reason I've not picked up the primer and I've not used any is because if you've been watching me for a while now, we do not use primer on this channel. I just don't think it makes a difference. So I didn't want to test the primer because I don't use them. Apart from the obvious of that foundation is ridiculously too light apparently i'm not going to pick in shades out online don't ask me to help i've got the concealer in cx 0.2 gonna be super light i love the applicator of this i know show just close up but i just it's so unique. Whoa.
I've actually let this sit on my skin for a bit and honestly it still blends amazing. And then I'm going to take the translucent powder to set. I'm a little nervous at this product just because I hate loose powders. What's it doing? It says it's translucent but I'm changing colour. My under eyes just went orange. I'm gonna put my big brush in it to set my face. It's gonna make me orange. Cause I look like Casper's best mate. I'm not mad. That is powdery. I hate powders like this. I am a pressed powder gal through and through. You will never catch me using a loose powder apart from for this video. Yeah, did what every other loose powder does and made me dry as hell. You just have to see my nose right now. It has literally that powder just kills everything oh my god i look a mess no i'm sorry my nose has got me shut off it fell off my nose what the hell is that shall we address the obvious there's no contour powder so i am actually gonna have to contour with something else so i've contoured i use my normal revolution contour powder i use it quite often I just feel after that translucent powder we are looking a little chalky. Let's just bronze, I can't look at this no more. Mine is in the shade Morose. Morose? Morose? I'm literally following my same process what I'd usually do going back over with my buff and brush to make sure it's all smooth and blended let's go in with blush mine's in the shade obscure 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 beautiful peach I'm happy with that. Now for highlights, mine's in the shade Focus. It's this gorgeous gold champagne shade. I purchased this because obviously I've got tan on and I didn't realise how light that foundation was. That's gorgeous. That's not like a glittery highlight either. It's like a lift from within type of highlight. I'm gonna put mascara on. I don't think they do mascara. I couldn't find one, so I've not bought one. I'm gonna put lashes on and then we'll come back and finish. Okay, so my lashes are on. 
Let's just amp it up a bit for me. I think I'm gonna take the highlighter and put it under my brow bone. I'm gonna take the eyeliner, this in the shade Chestnut. I love that, the way it looks. It's not harsh, it's just, <laughs> it's amplified the whole look. I love it. Now I'm gonna take my quad and I'm gonna do some building under the eye. So I think I'll take the brown shade close, smoke it out with the orange, and then we'll highlight the inner corners with the highlighter. One thing that was definitely missing from this launch for me was lip liners. So I've just had to go in with one by MUA for the time being, just to add some shape to my lips. But now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lip in the shade Ticket. Can we talk about the packaging? I love that it is a frosted packaging. I do really like now I'm onto the lip gloss I like that this is also in the shade ticket so that they're matching up but what I would really love now is if they brought up brought out not brought up brought out matching lip liners too that would just be incredible I only applied the gloss, sorry I'm just like lost for words, so I just can't get my words out. I only applied the gloss to the centre of my lips and slightly going out, I didn't apply it everywhere just because I don't want it to do stupid. Oh my god, super sticky. But now I'm going to go in with my fix and mess because we are at the end and split my face. <coughs> Bless me. Also forgot to say the liquid lip. <gasps> when you open this up, mm, it's like vanilla frosting, like nice vanilla buttercream frosting. Unreal. It just reminds me because I haven't even sprayed this yet and it smells gorge. I don't know what it smells of though, but yeah, let's give this a go. I'm ner I get nervous spraying for the first time, so we'll spray away. Okay, that looks nice and misty. I've got one from, I think it's Nip and Fab. Yeah, oh my God. It's like a water gun, just literally drenches you. So I like more of a fine mist. <sighs> there are two products that I didn't try today. One being the liquid eyeshadow and the other one being the loose pigment just because I knew the look I was going for and I know everyone's been trying them out but for me the whole point of using the quads was I wanted to use the nice metallic shade as well as the matte so it would have been defeating the object if I avoided that colour and went in with a liquid eyeshadow so I will use them at a later date for you but for now I will swatch them. So yeah, that looks really nice. So I am excited to try that at a later date. And now to try the pigment. I'll swatch it next to it. Wow, wee mama. This looks nice. I love pigments, by the way. Like, love them. 
honestly these are similar i know obviously it looks completely different because one is liquid and one is powder but they have the same shift they both start like a green and they shift to like a purple okay what did i think what did i actually genuinely think let's start from the beginning sorry about the noise my little baby pup is having a little play with my liquid lip so honestly the quad oh my god i'm just looking at it you have to have it 10 pound steel honest to god that formula is beautiful that is not makeup revolutions usual formula let me tell you i will buy them palettes 10 times over they're so good the metallic in there puts me in mind <laughs> bold statement of the huda beauty formula that she uses in her larger palette honestly it's that beautiful it's creamy and it's almost like a putty like texture you can see that it's like indented where i've swatched it but let me just nothing on my finger beautiful liquid liner <laughs> that took us a minute didn't it like it literally took about five minutes before the product started to come out i don't know if that's normal i don't know we tried it it worked like it, it took us a good it took more than a minute it took us a good few minutes but we were watching our show so it weren't all too bad if you're in a rush you better pump that thing like the day before because it's going to take more than a minute but honestly once it was pumped up it was beautiful like it was <gasps> i've never known anything like it it was the most liquid liquid liner that I've ever used. Does that even make sense? The foundation was beautiful and glowy. I didn't try the matte one because I am not a matte gal. We don't do matte skin over here on this channel. We like to look luminous and all just. Oh. The concealer, again, I really like this. I've got no complaints whatsoever about the concealer. Obviously, I got my foundation and concealer way too late for my silver. That was just me that's a me problem that's not a xx revolution thing that is a me thing but yeah it was beautiful like it blends out really nice and i actually let the product sit under my eyes for a little while whilst i blended out the rest of my face and honestly i was shocked like this did not dry down this wasn't a very mattifying concealer but it did feel full coverage too <sighs> i don't don't even want to talk about that translucent powder i don't want to think about it i want to erase it out of my life don't want anything to do with it ever again xx revolution what you're missing is a pressed powder i am a pressed powder girl we have been from day zero over here like i don't like a loose powder my skin i don't know what it is about it i feel like normal to dehydrated skin my skin it rejects it absolutely rejects loose powders it's always been that way i cannot use a single loose powder in this world no matter what brand it is it just will not work for my skin it says it's translucent you guys have seen it right this put like a cast on my skin but not even a white cast even though it was a white powder it like it added some color to my skin which i, I went mad about that side of things because i was way too light and i feel like we got a little bit darker when we put the powder on but yeah i hate it i hate it the bronzer was beautiful it was so pigmented and it blends out like a dream i even built the bronzer i went back in and we played with some more we built it back up and we did other things and then we come back in again and we placed this some more and it built up really really nice and beautifully blusher oh my god love it 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 it makes me want to happy dance happy dance oh my god i loved it ah i've been getting into my blushes lately i think blushes really like make the face a banging they can help shape the face i know everyone's like you've got a contour and you've got a bronze and then you can brighten them let's not forget what blush does to the face like blush adds some color and then some like it's all good and well putting a contour down but then when you put that blush on top oh my god it will it elevates the face to the next level i love it but this one today it blended like a dream again i built this up twice you see this we built it up twice and it's just oh, i love it i honest to god i can't recommend it enough i really can't <laughs> 
I don't know where to begin with the highlighter. Honestly, I've actually got the highlighter coming in a different colour for when I am pasty and pale. So, the other highlighter is probably going to go more with what we've got on today. Like this super pasty pale foundation. It'll go more with that, but look at that. This is not a glittery, specky highlight. This is a... Oh girl, you got that natural radiance, you're so glowy, oh, are you sweating? Like, this looks natural, it's unbelievable, I just... Also, can we, can, can we take a minute for the eyeliner that's like on my lash line? I used to brown shades and I was nervous, it looked really deep and really dark and I'm like, oh my god, like my eyes are just gonna go shh and just shrivel and be super small. But no, like, I love it. This actually somehow opened my eyes a little bit. This went too deep or too dark or anything once it got onto that lash line. It just, it amped this look to another level. The liquid lip was beautiful. You guys seen how that applied. It went on like a dream. It smells like vanilla buttercream. It's just gorge. And the lip gloss sits really well on top of it. It's a little bit sticky. You see that? Like my lipstick together a little bit. Doesn't bother me all that much if I'm honest. It's not super sticky that every time I shut my lips I'm like bleh, 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 bleh. It's not like that. It's just like if I really like then I can feel it stick. This gloss is on so nice. It's a beautiful gloss. I love that the glosses match the liquid lips. That's just amazing for me because you can get the perfect match. XX Revolution Give me a lip liner that matches as well. That's what I need from you. We need some matching lip liners to pair up with the liquid lips and the glosses. And we also need a contour shade in here. We can't just live off of bronzers. You know, you've gave us everything else. All I'm asking for is a contour shade and a lip liner is all. Well, props to XX Revolution on their launch. This is an amazing new brand. I'm really excited to continue using the stuff. I'm just looking at it in front of me now. I'm really excited to use this stuff and include it into my daily routine. No, I will never use this certain powder again. Again, bring out a pressed powder, please, 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 please. Makeup Revolution do banging pressed powders. Like, I love them. You know, I use Bacon Blot, the pressed version every single day of my life thank you guys so much for watching i do hope that you like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and please hit that notification bell it will bring you right back to me every time i post another video again just want to say a massive congratulations to xx revolution this feels a luxury at a lower than luxury price point so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one.